Pyongyang this time displayed of a whole new side by expressing regret over the recent landmine explosions. Still, its top military officials to the talks had a few sharp words for South Korea when facing his home crowd. Here's Kim Min-ji with the details. Like South Korea, North Korea was quick to report on the outcome of the marathon inter-Korean talks. The state-run television said the North Side expressed regret over the recent landmine explosion that occurred in the demilitarized zone injuring soldiers at the South Side. Unlike in the past, this time Pyongyang did not distort details of the agreement. North Korea's representative at the talks, Hwang byung sa the director of the General Political Bureau of the Korean People's Army, also announced a six-point agreement on television. However, it was accompanied by sharp remarks aimed at South Korea. Through North-South emergency high-level negotiations this time around, South Korea must have learned a serious lesson that if it creates a groundless case and provokes the other side, it will ignite a military clash. Huang was likely referring to the South's claim that North Korea is responsible for the recent landmine explosions in a move to deflect full responsibility. He also called on Seoul to sincerely fulfill its end of the agreements. Despite this, the top North Korean official expressed hope that the talks will pave the way for better inter-Korean ties under a fresh atmosphere for improving relations. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.